understand. Baseball is a sport which is huge in America, but doesn't get much coverage here. Despite this, it has a passionate following in this country, and there's a thriving domestic league with hundreds of enthusiastic players. There certainly is. The Midlands is home to two of the country's top amateur teams, the Leicester Blue Sox and the Birmingham Maple Leafs. Now, we join them for a top-of-the-table clash to find out a little bit more about this all-American game. Baseball is such a complex game, but the, the essence of it, for the rules, is that uh, each team uh, bats half an inning, nine innings, um, usually for the regulation game, and each team requires to need to get the, the batting team out for three hours. There's nine players in the team, uh, pitcher, catcher, first baseman, second baseman, um, third, shortstop, left, centre and right field. Um, and it's basically a game that you have to run around in a square without getting out. Um, there's very many rules and ways that you can get out. Uh, score runs by uh, moving around the bases, and you could score a run once you come across home plate, which is the fourth base. The Leicester Blue Sox was formed in 2006 um, out of a need to have a baseball team back in the city. We formed a second team this year as well, and next year we want to do uh, children's baseball, uh, providing we can get people uh, involved, which has been great, because uh, we really do need to make this game sustainable. If everybody gets interested in baseball, it'll grow, and the faster it goes, the more people we get involved, the better it is for the game at the end of the day. If people do go onto the website, the, the BBF website, uh, Baseball and Softball UK website, they can check out which uh, a team that's local to them and just go along. That's a great sport and it's great and it's fun. We're part of the British Baseball Federation, so this is countrywide. Yes, it's a small minority sport, but all the other teams that we play are all the same as well. They just love playing the sport. <laughs> We need baseball in this country because it is something different to the norm. It is a fantastic game that everybody enjoys. You don't have to be as physically fit as, as some sports. Um, it doesn't matter if you're young, it doesn't matter if you're old. Go on then, Adam. Along the way we sort of stick t together all teams because you have to because it's grassroots. I mean the guys here that have to make their own backstop in the outfield fence and different and it's the same for all teams, the good is what you make it. Well, a lot of the guys are from Leicester, but uh, uh, we have uh, a couple of American players, I have a Dominican uh, player. They bring so much experience uh, to the table from because they, they play this game from grassroots. The biggest thing as well is they're happy to, to part the knowledge as well. My wife actually uh, found these guys online a couple of years back, so I joined the team uh, last season and I've been here ever since and it's been a fantastic experience. It's quite a bit more regimented in the States. You, you've got age groups and it's divvied up like that, whereas we've got, uh, you know, the age group on this team ranges from uh, maybe late teens, early 20s, right up into uh, late 30s, possibly even early 40s. There's quite a few Americans over here now, so uh, we like to get involved in our own sports, obviously. We're, we're quite proud of our uh, heritage and uh, I, think, I think it's working. I think there's enough demand for it and I think it's going places. We say football, they say soccer. They say baseball, we say rounders. Yep. Which we invented, of course. <laughs> but they changed the name so that they could we claim it, I guess. We get told aren't we? Oh, right. Probably. Baseball. Now, those pictures were filmed by Colin Ashby and edited by Jonathan Nicholas. And just so you know, Leicester won the encounter and the Midlands title. Both teams have qualified for the end of season playoffs mm -hmm. and a chance of promotion. And those games take place this weekend and we'll let you know how they get on.